Welcome to the latest update program. The topic of discussion is UNEP Foresight Report. Recently, the United Nations Environment Program has published its Foresight Report. The report warns that developing solar radiation management technologies could lead to environmental disruptions within next seven years. Solar radiation management is a form of climate engineering that aims to reduce global warming by reflecting some of the sun's energy back into space before it can heat up the earth. Solar radiation management technologies include first stratospheric aerosol injection. It mimics the cooling effect of volcanic eruptions by releasing aerosols into the stratosphere. Second, marine cloud brightening. It involves spraying fine droplets of seawater or other substances into low-level clouds over the oceans, where they would act as cloud condensation nuclei and increase the reflectivity and persistence of the clouds. Third, space sunshades. It involves placing large mirrors or screens in orbit around the Earth where they would block or deflect some of the incoming solar radiation. The European Union, the United States and China are currently funding research to better understand SRM as a climate change mitigation strategy. Concerns surrounding SRM technologies include potential extreme weather events, acid rain, and altered precipitation patterns. The other risk is termination shock, which is a rapid and substantial rise in global temperatures after the technology is suddenly paused. Other impacts and unintended environmental consequences include a delay in the closing of the ozone hole, warming of polar regions, and cooling of the tropics. Now is the time to test your knowledge. The question is, what does solar radiation management aim to reduce? Pollution, deforestation, global warming, or water scarcity? Send the answer to this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.